So we have made it. We have finally got to the end of the academic year, to the summer break, and I just want to take a moment to say a massive thank you to everyone involved within the running of a school, from the site manager, to the cleaners, to the cooks, to the midday assistants, the TAs, LSAs, support staff, the office staff, teachers, and leaders. I want to just say a massive thank you for the incredible job that you have done in educating the next generation this academic year. Each year I make a video at the end of the academic year and I'll always say, I don't know what it is, but year on year it just seems to be getting harder. And again, this year, I have to say it has been incredibly tough. It's been incredibly hard. Our education system continues to be chronically underfunded where we are all being expected to do more with less. The behaviour issues we've been facing in some of our schools due to issues caused outside of school, factors out of our control and we're having to pick up the pieces. Still the lack of trust in teachers professionals where our workload is through the roof and we are being constantly scrutinized and pressured and made to feel like we're failures and never, we're never good at what we do. However, there is hope, there is light at the end of the tunnel. The fact that as we head into this summer break, we have now got a new government who seem to value the job that we do. And I hope that as we come back in September, we are starting to see the necessary change to start fixing that broken education system. But then you've also got all the individual challenges you've gone through, stuff that might be happening outside of school. You might be a TA working in a school where you just don't feel valued at all. You might be a teacher who just seems to be working for a real toxic leadership and there's some of them out there. You might be a great leader who just has a staff that isn't buying in to your vision of the school. And those challenges can be incredibly, incredibly difficult. But what can never, ever be questioned is the dedication that everyone involved in education has to try their best to constantly work as hard as they can to provide the best care and best education for their students. And by the way, that's not me justifying why teachers are worked to the point of burnout every half term. Obviously there are certain things that need to change, but you are not told anywhere near enough what an incredible job you do. And so I want to take this moment, I want this video to be a little moment where you can reflect and you can actually sit back and realize, yeah, I did try my best. I did everything in my power to help and support those children. And I know for a fact, speaking on behalf of the students and the families that you support and care for, are so grateful for the amazing job that you've done. And so with the summer holidays, I want to just make sure you all remind yourself that this time is your time. It is your time to do whatever you need to do to switch off, recharge, and then be ready to go again in September. What I want you all to do, I'm not going to patronise you by saying this is what you should do, this is what's going to be good for your well-being. You know what's best for your well-being. We finally got a bit of time now over the summer break to actually do it. What I want to say here, one thing I want you to promise me to do is if you take a moment to have a little scroll through social media, please, whatever you don't compare yourself to anyone else during these six week holidays. Don't compare yourself as a parent. Don't compare yourself as a teacher. Just focus on you and focus on doing whatever it is that's going to bring you a little bit of happiness, allow you to switch off recharge and revitalize. If you do take a moment to have a little scroll through social media during the break and there's a post there from a teacher who's not yet left their classroom because they decided to do every display and make it look like it's oh mwah, perfect with a jungle reading display over there and a Hogwarts, it looks like Hogwarts over there. Listen, by all means like the post, right? Comment on saying well look nice it looks but whatever you do please 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 do not compare yourself. Do not put yourself under pressure and have this weird teacher guilt where you then think, oh my God, I should be doing that because you shouldn't, you don't need to. This is what the, the education system has done to us. It's brainwashed us into having this weird teacher guilt where we almost feel bad if we're giving ourselves a break, but you need to give yourself a break. It is so, so important. And I'll tell you this now, an aesthetically pleasing looking classroom has absolutely no impact on teaching and learning in your class compared to a teacher who is well rested, energized and enthusiastic to do their very, very best every day. And that's got to be the focus. Now, what I'm not going to do is patronize you by saying this is what you've got to do because what works for me isn't going to necessarily work for you. You know what's best for you to achieve that. It might be that you think over oh, the next few weeks, I'm going to try and complete Netflix. And if that's the case, you go for it. You might make a follow up video with some recommendations. You might want to just hit the gym every single day. Just go outside on walks, hitting your 10,000 steps. It might be you just want a brunch 
every day with your mates. And if that's the case, again, you've earned it. You deserve it. This is your time. So whatever it is, spending quality time with your family and friends, make the most of it. Don't have that weird teacher guilt because you've got to understand having that time to switch off is so incredibly important for you to be the best possible teacher come September. So make the most of it. Have a fantastic break. I hope you can all switch off, relax, recharge, do everything I've said there. Stay safe. Keep doing the amazing job that you're doing and I'll see you on the other side.